Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definition of the inverse Z transform based on the Cauchy integral theorem. So, we are going to look at inverse Z transform. Inverse Z transform. That is, given a Z transform X of Z, we want to convert this one to derive the time domain sequence x of n that means we want to apply the inverse z transform on the given z transform to obtain the time domain sequence x of n x of n is the time domain signal or sequence now in this video we are going to derive the expression relating x of n to x of z let us start with the definition of the z transform that is x of z is equal to by definition equal to summation k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of k z power minus k so that is, is the definition of the z transform now we multiply the term z power minus z power n minus 1 on both sides this multiply z power n minus 1 on both sides and then we have z power n minus 1 x of z is equal to z power n minus 1 summation k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of k z power minus k and now we apply closed contour integration on both sides that is we apply closed contour integration over the surface C or over the contour C. So, z power n minus 1 x of z integral of z power n minus 1 x of z dz over the closed contour C should be equal to integral z power n minus 1 summation k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of k z power minus k dz. And to understand this integration over the closed contour, see, we are basically doing this integration within the ROC of the Z transform. That means, so the closed contour integration is basically integration in the ROC, in the anticlockwise direction. And generally, for a Z transform X of Z, the ROC is defined by the ring like structure between two circles of radius of radii R2 and R1. So, we are doing this integration in this ring like structure in the anticlockwise direction so that is the meaning of this closed contour integration and since the z transform converges in this roc region uh, this integral on the right side will also converge that means we can interchange the integral and the summation to rewrite this one as summation k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of k and then integral over the closed contour C, z power n minus 1 minus k dz. Now we will invoke the, now we will invoke the Cauchy integral theorem. The Cauchy integral theorem, which basically says that 1 by 2 pi j integral z power n minus 1 minus k over the closed contour C dz of course is equal to 1 when k is equal to n and it is equal to 0 whenever k is not equal to n. In other words, this closed contour integral is basically equal to delta of k minus n, the direct delta function or the unit sample function. So, basically we can write it as the unit sample function that is delta of k minus n. So, we can replace this integral with 2 pi j multiplied by delta of k minus n. So, we can write this equation as, therefore, the equation can be written as integral of x of z, z power n minus 1 dz is equal to summation over k for all values that is minus infinity to plus infinity 2 pi j delta of k minus n x of k so this is the term on the right side now by using the shifting property of the unit sample function we can easily show that or we can easily write it this is the value on the right side as 
2 pi j multiplied by x of n. That is, we are using the shifting property of the unit sample function. So, this summation becomes 2 pi j x of n. And since our goal is to derive the value of x of n from x of z, we can clearly uh, rewrite this equation as x of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi j integral of x of z z power n minus 1 z power n minus 1 dz. Note that this integration is over a closed contour. It is area where x of z converges. Now, the time domain sequence x of n is given by 1 by 2 pi j in uh, closed contour integral of x of z multiplied by z power n minus 1. So, this is the original or the this is the Cauchy integral theorem based inverse z transform. This is the inverse z transform. So, to summarize, we have derived the inverse z transform that is to extract the signal x of n from a given z transform x of z. Basically, we have used the Cauchy integral theorem which states that 1 by 2 pi j uh, integral of z power n minus 1 minus k over a closed contour c is given by unit sample function delta of k minus n and that is basically a shifted unit sample function delta of k minus n. So, we have shown that the x of n that is the time domain signal x of n is equal to this closed contour integral that is integral of x of z z power n minus 1 divided by 2 pi j. So, this gives us the time domain sequence x of n. Thanks for watching.